anyway, for right now, we still got a briefing going on. Let's go ahead and talk about what Hired Guns is. Hired Guns is an attack defend operation here on Gordok. It be a little foggy outside, which means satellite pictures aren't going to be definitive. And so all we have are word of mouth reports that Mill have moved a few AA platforms somewhere around here. And uh, there's a few of them, I think, or US thinks they know about three. And so they're going to go in and try to uh, dismantle those positions or as much as they can, given the fact that they don't have current intel. What exactly is going down? Um, they're going to be finding and eliminating hostiles. Uh, equipment and uh, the AA guns. Uh, the idea is once they uh, complete their sweep, they're going to defend a position. They also, they do have an ability to exfil. Uh, start sponsor. So uh, they're going to be starting at main here on the map and then they're going north to attack the positions. Uh, positions on Gordok are Kilo 8, Lima 8, Lima 9, Mike 9 for the three guns they have to destroy at least one and I think Mill uh, can build up to three or more squads how many squads are we running today we're running three squads four squads four squads um, so running four squads which means we will be seeing three AA per team or per uh, INS side. Mill get to place mines and uh, IEDs. US aren't gonna be placing mines and IEDs. Um, Mill have LATs. And US have engineers and ARs. It's kind of the big, uh, the kind of the big difference here. I uh, actually will take a more, more in depth look at loadouts here. That's UK. No, that's not what I want. Oh crap, I forgot to change those. Uh, I can make that change real quick. Uh, you, uh, we'll take a look at US loadouts. US loadouts are one, uh, are two FTLs, two ARs, one medic. They have four engineers for the platoon. Uh, four ammo bearers and crewmen as needed. They have two unarmed strikers right now uh, and a Mat V open top that has a 50 cal on it, along with a transport truck. They also have off map support, two UAV call ins, so that's five minutes apiece, and two artillery smoke barrages. Pretty standard for assaulting a fixed position. Uh, artillery smoke barrages are super effective at. Basically, allowing people not to be able to see anything. You throw it where you want to go, and then you let it fill out, and then hopefully everyone is 20 seconds from the edge of the smoke ring because they got to be there in order to get any sort of cover from it. But yeah, that's the U.S. loadouts. Let's take a look at uh, Mill real quick. Mill is rolling two FTLs, one lat, one medic, no ARs, which means they're going to be really close in defending. They also have, um, oh, they also get uh, additionals here. They're going to have two ammo bearers, one extra lat, and two extra engineers. Based on squad size for this mission, um, which is four, I believe. Yes, uh, four. So they're going to have they're going to have two engineers, which means I pull my operation stuff back in. They will have. Uh, two IEDs possible, two AT mines possible, two AP mines possible. Which is pretty important. Putting those in the right place is super important. That and having the fifth lat is going to help with dealing with the uh, strikers because they're pretty resilient. Yeah, we'll see tonight. Who's going to catch who with the mines? Yeah, I think... Um, I mean, the mines are the one thing. AP mines generally are more like like personnel detectors. Sometimes they wound, sometimes they don't. 
I uh, I wonder if they have like the old AT grenade uh, code, which stopped working for a few versions, and then it started working again, and then it stopped working again. So I don't know if in this version it actually works. I'll be 100% honest yeah, with you. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And then we've got, uh, what else do we have? We also have, uh, I think they also have off map support. Uh, what they do have is three Logi trucks, 3k build, no ammo per truck. Um, they'll have a fob emplacement. So each ZSU emplacement, each area they're defending is basically one radio, one ZSU, and sandbags and wires. So fortifications only at those positions. They have limited areas to place where uh, the ZSU is going to be. Um, so go back to the map for a second. So Kilo 8, Anti Grid, uh, Lima 8, Anti Grid, Lima 9, they can only place in Lima 9, 2, and Lima 9, 3. Mike 9, they can only place in Mike 9, 1, Mike 9, 2, Mike 9, 3. Uh, taking a look at what that means in game. Uh, Lima 8, so it's. Kilo 8, Lima 8, Lima 9. Okay, so it's going to be these four sectors right here. So Kilo 8, any grid, Lima 8, any grid, Lima 9, uh, Lima 9, 2, Lima 9, 3. So basically these two grids and then this slash part of the grid right here. Um, someone's turned this on the map for me. This is brilliant. Um, so the A placements could be anywhere here or I believe anywhere in these two wooded sectors. Uh, Lima 9 is 9293 and then Mike 9 is any of them. So it's actually these two wooded sectors here and then this entire field at the bottom of Mike 9. I wonder if that's supposed to be flipped but it's no big deal. Um, so that's where the radio and the ZSU have to be for each of those. And of course, up here, they can be anywhere. Um, US. Uh, da -da -da -da. So they need to destroy two. So that's the US's goal because of four squads. We need to see two destroyed. And then there, I believe they have a uh, exfil option. So once they destroy two, they can rally the forces and get out of there. And there's a uh, GG call, uh, the same memory. Okay, actually, we're going to go ahead and listen in to this briefing. Expert's given a briefing here for U.S. Um, two of the three oh, okay. ZSU positions that uh, is supposedly somewhere out in the Gore Dock Forest. Uh, the squad leaders have already been briefed on their individual missions and what, they, what their jobs and uh, tasks are going to be during this. But I'm going to give you a quick overview of what's supposed to happen. Uh, Inky's, Inky's squad is taking two MRAP Mat Vs. They are going to be on our flank protection. Uh, they're going to position their Mat Vs so that the militia doesn't counterflank us when we're maneuvering. Uh, their second tasking is if we are successful on our raid of one ZSU gun, they're going to uh, maneuver onto the two possible locations in the southeast and look for a gun there, probably, hopefully catch the militia off guard and be able to hit the one of those positions fairly easily and score, score us a quick raid and then we can exfil. Uh, how we're going to conduct the first one is uh, uh, Russ's squad is going to be on recon. We're going to take three squads and uh, dismount in Hotel 9 in the, on the road there in Defilade. Uh, Russ is going to head out. He's going to position his fire teams to do some recon to find out if the militia know that we're on the west side of the map and second to find w at least one ZSU position. Once we've located that, he's going to mark it with a tactical marker. I'm going to drop smoke on it. And the two assault squads are going to take two unarmed strikers uh, into close pro proximity of the ZSU position, dismount, and assault it. Um, this is going to be a quick action, so there's not going to be a lot of time to, you know, uh, you know, pick up your candy bar off the, the bottom of the striker or anything like that. So it might be dismounting in a tree line, might be dis dismounting right next to the ZSU. The ZSUs are armed, so that's going to be fun, too. The hope is that the smoke is going to confuse the gunner. Uh, it's not a you know a position which is a person wants to be on, uh, especially during assault. So we're going to get we're going to get in close to personal real quick. Um, that's the best way you can accomplish that. So once that's destroyed, uh, Inky's squad is going to pull off, look for the second one, and then we're going to reorganize and then plan our second assault wherever that might be. Um, 
just break down the plan. Pretty simple. Um, just listen to your squad leaders, fire team leads, um, and hopefully you can pull off at least one assault pretty clean and quick and then move on to the second one. Any questions? Uh, you mentioned an X, Phil. Uh, where is that going to be? Uh, back to me, right? So after we destroy two okay. ground emplacements, the hope is that we're going to go start at the north side and then work our way south, and then we're closer to our exfil location with the last few remaining alive people we have, if any. Sounds good. Awesome. I'm going to let your squad leaders take this extra time to get you guys all settled in, break out the buddy teams, and figure out all the detailed plans you guys need to be. Uh, good luck. See you in the next round. So it's a bit of give and take there. Instead of being the back... uh, And here we go. Yep. Live, live, live. Live for round one of Operation Hired Guns. US is rolling out. Got an unarmed striker variant here, basically a glorified bus. With the 50 cals in the back of the formation, transport straight in the middle. Things are looking good. Nice convoy here. Export, expect Colin for get off the road. <laughs> so one squad is in each of the unarmed, plus one squad in the transport, plus command element, I believe. And then we have uh, two. We have one squad in both of the MRAPs. Split between both the MRAPs, that is. Uh, looks like we have an MRAP peeling off while everyone else is maintaining a western approach. And looks like the other MRAP has halted. MRAP in Lima 11, MRAP in Kilo, edging towards the Kilo 11 grid, and two strikers in the transport still rolling west side of the map. Sure, by now we might be hearing uh, command comms on Mill starting to say, hey, contact. We're getting close, but there's only one little tertiary squad sticking out here towards the. What is this? Towards the south, and it looks like the uh, U.S. is going to pretty much get all the way around them. Hopefully this western flank that they're about to pull off will will um, give them some uh, good advantage here coming across the river. I would think that Mill is not going to have a lot of bodies watching west. That is the case right now. Yeah. Their eyes are definitely aimed south and southeast. So this western flank right, could be good choice so far, so remember, but we'll still see how they on, react. So we'll see how Mill uh, let your map V's get stolen. repositions as soon as they get their first contact over here across the bridge in the, what is that? Indigo 8 area. Moving to you, Southage. The uh, MRAP guys have gotten out of their vehicles. And they're going to be holding their position and waiting for the rest of U.S. to get into the Western approach. Uh, from the map, it looks ah. like they're going to... Ooh, someone's got a loud mic here. Uh, oh. That... Misturn question mark? Uh, they're going all the way through guys. the middle of... Go ahead. Maybe they're just completely, deliberately avoiding those roads. It's not like they're going to have eyes on those roads. Eh, I guess. We'll see how these two southern squads are able to pull the attention away from the insurgents as soon as this western uh, so you know here gets going. We'll see who, who pulls the trigger first. Hey, dismount, dismount. Oh, we got mass dismounts here for U.S. I don't like this. <laughs> Someone's saying they don't like this. Wow, you don't have to like it, it's an order. <laughs> it's the whole plan, my guy. Three squads west, one squad south. 
Here, get up. Squad South are starting to make their moves. They are ditching their vehicles. And it looks like Mill have an engineer rolling out towards one of the roads here in Kilo 9-1. Looking for a place to put IEP mines. And we have an UAV up for US. Going to be giving all of that juicy information, including all the bodies that are potentially over at Kilo 8. That is wow, the fog. Wow, nicely placed UAV. That is gonna the get fog. Just about uh, everybody. Yeah, if you can see everyone. Yeah, good uh, point with the fog. I think it's still vanilla zoom on the UAV, so... With the fog and with no one moving, it's going to make it more difficult to see. Let's take a look at some of these emplacements here. Lots of walls being put up on the north side of uh, Kilo A here. It's definitely a solid en embankment, sort of built out of sandbags, and everyone is hiding yeah. and holding position. I feel like this area right here is definitely going to be called out first so from the UAV, no if anything. The other ones are pretty tucked away in the trees. Got a embankment here Basket right of along puppies the... has died somehow. Died. I must have missed saw something. My bad. Is it on the score on the scoreboard? Nope. Negative. I must have just seen something weird. Okay. Before contact, if it was an accident, he probably has a chance to come back in. But uh yeah, that's what I was about to say. It is a one life, but we do like people to have fun still. True. Can't uh if you died a dumb mistake, uh Oh, look at that. The new guy in chat has tags on. <laughs> He's gonna get kicked. <laughs> Big laugh. Oh, oh. Did they change the way that UAVs are controlled? Expert asking if they changed the way the UAVs are controlled. That'd be wrong. Command to show the road. Stand by. Show the bridge clear for mines, as well as the road just northeast of it. US crossed the river now. Squad 2 moving towards radio tower. Pretty universal landmark. Yeah, the UAV is not going to be able to see anything. <laughs> Unless it's zoomed in and, try, they have, and they have thermals. I don't think uh, UAVs and squad have thermals, so it's uh, it's not going to be good. Yeah, no. Tags on. Transmission. Yeah, talk about he's not a reg. He, this is literally his first operation, and he threw the ops tags on. So those uh -oh. are reserved for our regulars, which uh, we choose individually. I'm sitting here streaming, and I don't even have ops tags. True. This is for the command. Go ahead, for Do you mind if we do some small-scale patrolling here on the southern side? Yeah, that's fine. All right, Inky was thinking about moving a bit more forward. Radio tower is clear. Target positions. And they're going to get set up. Well, meanwhile, two other squads for U.S. still across the river, holding position. Uh, Mill have spread their guys out. Looks like they have now have two, like a squad and a half, two squads in the south. And they have lessened the existence of defenses on the north. Less than a squad size force in both of the northern grids. And we just have a couple buddy teams roaming the south down here. And the two U.S. squads are just hanging out, man. They can't really see anything from their positions, but they're just waiting for the call. Yeah, I think they're waiting for squad two. Or DJ, they're waiting for DJ Russ to get into a position. I think they're going to get into position around Juliet 7. Oh, I got you. I got you. And then everyone else is going to come through. So this is just a basic, this is leapfrog. Uh, this is squad pounding, but just on uh, to the extreme. 
Squad bounding, just add bodies. Yeah. So far, no one's reported contact on US. Command even has a small element moving across the river right now. Honestly, that command element might be the the first blood over here we might see. Command two. It's Those two southern buddy teams down here kind of broken off with Mr. Toaster and Viking direction. Gaming. Or might it's be the first to take contact. We'll see. We'll see. Tell this map. Copy. DJ Russ going to opt to go towards the forest in Juliet 6, deciding that Juliet 7 is too open. Which... Yeah. Uh, There's a fair bit of caution being used here by U.S. It's obviously once well once the once the approach is figured out, you have to commit to it. And if you only have one squad on the approach and they get spotted, where's what are the two squads going to do? Get back in the uh, strikers and just roll it, roll it direct. I mean, that's what you have to do. Contact if we can because we're reconnaissance, we'll it but if it like comes down to it, we need to fight. Yeah, I agree. I remember correctly, after we get past these houses, there's going to be some open ground, so we might need to walk a tiny bit southeast. Rock talk using a pistol. What is the engineer? He's an AR. Looks like one of the U.S. Southern squads here is starting to push up along a tree line right along the Kilo Juliet uh, line. Still 300 meters to 300 meters distance between Viking Gaming, Mr. Toaster, and that fire team. Yeah, and that fire team has a big old field to cross, so we'll see. They got a bit, they got they a, approach this. They got a few more trees that they can uh, link through first. Here we go. Free stalker in charge of these this fire team here. They're definitely we'll taking their time. See over here. A bit of a marsh. Oh, yeah. oh, they take it nice and easy. They could sneak right up on Viking, but I don't know. Viking might have some good eyes. Why are we watching northeast? Uh, we watch north northeast. North they don't have their vehicle with them. Anywhere north. UAV is going to run out uh, before it's useful. Copy. They get two though, right? Or is that two smoke barrages? Uh, they do get two UAVs, so... That's only 10 right, minutes right. of flight time, I think. So it's a bit, uh... Going on about 10 minutes since operation started, I think. I forget when exactly operation started. No, you're, you're, you're about right. All right, guys. I feel like we should leave our Squad 2 making a nice oh, flank yes. up so north. Looks like they're going to make a pincer move here with on the medic and I'm a better. Once the majority of the squads forward. over west can get across the river. Um, would it make sense for the ammo bearer to drop the ammo back? They're definitely just holding position, so. Yep. I guess, the, yeah, they're just waiting for Russ to get comfortable, and then they're going to move up behind Russ, I think. Mm. I, these guys might just be moving to contact. There's weeds out here. Uh, not, if not contact, the visual. Because that's why, that's why um, Expert is also moving towards Kilo 8. Russ is trying to circle around to get better eyes on the area here they're starting to move north of everything oh no they're so far away they gotta move through the forest they have all the cover they have all the concealment that they could never want moving a little bit closer to the grid 
once they get there though if they get to the edge of the forest they're going to be spotted 100 percent. the question is will uh Matthew. will they stop as they as soon as they see the sandbags That is going to be the deciding factor. If they spot the sandbags and then stop, they have a better chance. Squads 1-3, this is command. Oh, here we go. Getting a word from command. 1-3, go ahead and mount up in your strikers and stage on the east side of the river. We're definitely uh, within sight range of each other if they peek through that fog at the right angle. Too far to the east after you cross the bridge. All right, U.S. is going to mount in their strikers and get ready to move. Let's uh, let's move All one right, across. Right. We're going to clear this. Uh, Surgeons south. haven't really moved. Valley. They're just holding to see who gets hit. Right, hits crossing. Command no confirmation yet. It's just stating that we are in the area. Oh, that squad over here with Free Stalker, Mister Pickle, and Soul. We have two uh, pushing across that field earlier into Viking and Toaster. Yep. Contact could be put on insurgent. both sides of the AO right now. Yep, Insurgent Command has finally made contact and they are chatting away. Oh, they have eyes? They have eyes in the west? I believe that's where they called it out. Yeah, let me, let me listen back in. Makes sense. They're pretty close up there within 200 meters, within uh, 100 meters now. That entire fire team under DJ Russ's direct leadership is moving towards Flame Mage and Frederick. If Flame oh, Mage man. has spotted them, going for it. these guys have to stop. I think Frederick was the one, or Fre Flame Mage was the one that was looking over here, so Frederick has eyes on now. Oh yeah, Frederick definitely has eyes on these guys. And they're not even looking towards the trees. They're still trying to move a little bit more east here, so we could be seeing shots any second now. Just about the same over here, uh, Sour, Mr. Pickle, Viking, and Toaster are within 100 here. meters of Some each other or over. so. Just depends on who sees who first. I feel like... Viking and Toaster have seen them. They're just waiting to pull the trigger until oh, they get the right no. point. Oh, no. Yeah. I believe those two guys are dead down there. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know if Sol and Mr. Pickle see them, but Viking and Toaster definitely know they're there. Oh, boy. That's real close. It's kind of crazy because this contact can break out on both sides right now. These guys are crossing the near side of the forest. This map Frederick definitely knows they're there. They're not even look. They know... The, the, no oh, one's called out these emplacements. All right, I'm rolling down there real quick. Everything's happening at once. Oh, they're right oh on my top God. of each other. Viking. Did Viking see those guys? No, they're getting past. Oh, there he is, finally. Soul's hit. Soul is down. Two. First blood. First blood. Contact found and contact back up north as well. Southwest Sandbag you know, guys are on. starting to shoot. Copy two. One and oh, three. Soul isn't. Oh, yeah, no, Soul's dead. Soul's dead. Yeah, Soul's dead. I think Metzger and Godfather got caught out here. Isaac Nine also hit immediately. Or go ahead and swing to the east. Yes. U.S. talking about attacking the east now. So all of the push, it, all of the recons have been patrols in force, and they're going to use the contact to swing around everyone. Withdraw. Metzger oh. uses uh, red smoke to mark the uh, position to fire at. Oh, no, they're gonna actually got to get in line behind two. I got a tactical ready whenever. Isaac Nine down over here in the north. Mark it so I can drop smoke on it. They're getting ready for an artillery smoke barrage. Takes about thirty seconds for the smoke barrage mortar to act or the smoke barrage to actually happen. So the earlier they get the mark down, which is why DJ Russ is over here, the faster they can start getting people and get in there. And smoke is coming in. That's a wide area. That's like a four hundred and fifty meter radius. Artillery might not be that effective. Fucking charge this shit. And squad four is loading back up in their map B. Looks like they're about to roll out. There, yeah, they're going to come back down. They're going to go back and give, provide fire support. I think they were meant to take contact first, and that's not happened because I think they're being a little bit too passive. Mr. Pickle gets out of uh, Mr. Toaster. I was and, about uh, to say, Pickle makes it out alive. Pickle's going to make his way back to Free Stalker, and uh, I think they're going to go ahead and collect their vehicles and join the attack here. And the attack is 
Basically, Ebony North, Strikers are rolling in north right now, and they are going to deploy right behind two. Accurate on the map. Meanwhile, DJ Russ is... Uh, the timing here has to be better. The uh, the smoke barrage is going to land any second now, and no one is ready to prepare for this. Get your squad back together. The smoke barrage is landing on the point. Yeah, so far, it is smoking out. The first uh, ranging uh, elements have smoked out the, uh, the the line, and here comes everything else. The UAV is or the strikers is rolling Striker across is the field right now. Straight in there. That's a lot of trust in such a wide area. Everyone is point oh my blank. God, they point blank lad hit didn't activate. Everyone is getting out. Fluffs rolls in. Fluffs is dead. Londarts just killed a man. Londarts TKs. That's a rare thing to see. Wow. These smoke rounds are going off so close. Frederick has gotten. There's a guy behind the sandbag. There's a guy right behind the sandbag. Chaos. The smoke round right now. Wait, you've been hit. Elvito rolls around, takes out Force Precon, and Londarts revenge er, t takes out Vax. Frederick is still hanging out in the area right here. Apex 69er went oh down. God. Frederick gets tagged though, as a frag would have killed him, if not Londarts. Flame Mage is also over here. He's hiding in a bush very carefully waiting for a time to strike either that or he's afk because he's still looking down the hill very weird very weird no he stood up elvito saw him oh my god how has flame survived this flame lucky overlaid down as slinger walks straight towards the uh uaz or the literally squad just got wiped there yeah that is crazy flame mage uh, us one hell control. of a boy. Oh my god, he swarmed by... The timing was questionable there up until the last second and the strikers just rolled in, everyone dismounted. Basket of puppies is right next to Salty Toast. Oh my god. That was cri that was that was brittle. Salty Toast freaking dead and now Basket of Puppies is stuck in the middle of the field. Oh. And one shot kills Basket of, pa basket of Puppies there. One hell of a way to start a round here. Flames. There's no one. The flame is the only one alive up here at this gun. Big, big impact. Don't breathe, flame. I thought Elvita saw flame stand up. Flame went to crouch, then he got back down. What is fl is flame playing without audio right now? Like, what? He's just waiting. I do not know the thought process. He's waiting. He's waiting to shoot from behind. Yeah. Matt Honjo is back here. He's maybe he's looking for. A, maybe he's looking for a squad lead. <laughs> he's looking for the radio to shoot. Uh, Slinger is going to go ahead and take out the first uh, first AA gun. So that's one objective down. You just need one more to call it quits and get out of here. You can send them to me. I'm going to go. Which way they're going to go? They go east, they got a lot of open ground to cover. If they go south and they keep engaging our mill forces as they engage from range, they might have a chance to thin out the numbers before they head south. Lats coming in a little way from Hanu, but Hanu got hit by the frag there. Suppression in that guys. Help. Where are the uh strike boards, the uh the Matt V's? Oh, they went to the rally point. So now they're coming back from the rally point. They went to the rally point to try to cross the bridge. Alright, some mill forces are starting to take position between Kilo 8 and Lima 8. Uh, Morgan is leading a fire team to get in here. Shred Turtle gets lit up from a distance. Kind of hard to tell from where though, definitely from the south. They got a lot more vision up there than I thought. Another frag rocket comes in directly on Shred Turtle's location. And looks like they're going to roll back to the Strikers. Is Flame Mage still AFK? Flame is still there. Charge place. Alright, they've announced that they've placed a charge on the uh, AA gun. 
Let me reload quick. Wow, never mind. Squad loading up in the striker. That's one AA gun down. Two to go, or one to go. Insurgents are fairly spread out here, but we've got, you know, starting to push in on this position, especially after that explosion's been called. Utopian is pushing people in. Lots of anticipation on the east being the next objective at Lima 8, and that's where the bulk of mill forces are. About a squad and a half still down south, along with command. No, not command. Command Utopian is still over here in the east. Uh, the, the striker's oh, scratch that. They are holding position and trying to catch that striker when it pushes up. So they're rolling back right now. Charlie Fox is looking for this striker. Lots of foliage in the way. If he gets a hit on this thing, that would be very good news. He might nail it, though. Uh, it's rolling away from him now. A striker pulling a big three-pointer and now bugging out north. Both strikers bugged out north. There is a hunter-killer team north. zaki has got the lad up there. They're a bit far away. But the striker is now pushing into now. open ground. Are these guys going to be able to react in time? I think they pulled back. To I don't know. That striker's moving pretty quick. They have one more, though, coming up. They might be able to take the second one out. Oh, it's following straight behind? Might yep, have a chance path. here. Oh, it's good. It's a lot And closer. they stopped. Oh, they stopped over at that... A little it's a lot closer. Zaki have a shot on this. Zaki's got to have a shot on this. And no. Ah, oh, man. He might have close, one more though. chance here. Nope. Everybody looks like they got picked up, though. Casualties from that first push. Looks like squad one down to six. Squad two down to four. Four got, took one Only casualty. Only ones not here are command squad, and they're still over there south-southwest. So. Squad four and the uh, MRAPs are still way down southwest. The oh, I see him now. Yep, yep. Get all the kits settled. And then go ahead and set out security. Squad two, why don't you try to march down to the southeast and relocate that ZSC Four is just pickling dudes, and they're moving in now. Yeah, you can, can sit over Cup. there. Hey, we have enemies close in the true line to our southwest. Squad 2 calling enemies close. So, yeah, they spotted um, Orange's fire team plus that are looking for the vehicle. I'm going to try to continue to cross. Vehicle's in cover, though. Yeah, that vehicle's back behind some of those buildings. It should be fine. Yes. Going to have to reposition to get a shot on it. I mean, <laughs> it's really funny. But... If they ran up, they could actually shoot the uh, vehicle through the through the building because of the way the doors are. But they have to get to the hill. Hey, you're not wrong. What is Zaki doing here? Zaki looks like he's waiting for a vehicle to come to him. You know, if you're not, he's got his tube out. I feel um, like that's what all of the insurgents are doing right now. They're just kind of waiting to see what happens. And we have not been put into play yet. Somewhere. They're still yep, yep. holding on to something. I don't know what. Now the U.S. are back in the wait mode. Both teams playing it fairly protective right now, except for that massive U.S. push they made to wipe out uh, that first squad. All right, copy that. Then, it's, then the other position is probably west of there, someplace, possibly in the tree line. All right, so Squad Four reports no, you no uh, emplacements in, in Mike Nine. To the ZSU. It's also no emplacements in Lima Nine either. It's in Kilo Nine Six. Should we do yeah, Four is searching strike? for nothing Should over there, but they have no it. idea. Uh, we can do kind of both. Um, just give me a second to clear this. Um, Let's see, DJ Russ has moved into the, got a fire team in the woods here. Alright, Killer, I'm going to let you lead that assault, so whenever you feel it's ready, go ahead and give the order how you want to do it. The objective is to south of, uh, south of two, right? It looks well, like US are, US are setting up for attacking uh, uh, Lima 8 here. All right, insurgents are moving down and might actually intercept that squad that's searching down for the things they won't find over here, squad four. Well, scratch that. Dude in, dude in chat says, nice wall hack. I'm in admin cam, my guy. 
<laughs> this is yeah, geez, built in. Quit cheating. Jeez. I mean, do you want to see if I turn all the turn all the markers off? This is what it would look like. It would still be super cringe. It would be bad to keep it like this. I'm going to turn some markers back on now. If I can figure out which button it is. There it is. Now, I normally would be running with outlines. So, OWI, please fix. But... OWI, please. OWI, please fix. Uh, I've been told soon. All to right. Score yeah. more insurgents here is moving down to the southern side of the railroad may intercept squad four for the u.s that might be the next encounter we have unless the northern nope. force shots of the US fired in. dj oh, rest is go. taken out by uh lagar who's just lying in wait squad lead down metzger's right next to him and didn't hear slash wow. c and lagar is going down blaze him entangled right in inside each other let's we'll see if hood can see uh, uh king over here godfather might have eyes Hood firing at looks like Boner King 420 is That's uh, a username if I've ever seen one. <sighs> Boner King now gone flaccid and uh, Legar still hiding in his bushes. Can you possibly drop a tactical mark on the ZSU position or around it? So now command is looking for a tactical mark. So they're going to. They want to. Uh, they want to do the same striker insert as before. They need the tactical mark in order to do that. Captain Morgan Squad pushing Godfather, down off the hill there? here, but let's see oh, if Freestyle can see them. Godfather has SL, but he doesn't have the FTL kit. That. Um, do you know how to drop a tactical mark? Freestalker definitely has eyes on these guys moving down into the yeah. into the railroad track down south here. Okay, just drop it anywhere around you so I can smoke off the position. Uh, Captain Morgan Squad does not know that they have been seen. Squad 4 where the U.S. is rotating over around south. These two four squads are kind of dancing around each other here. It's, uh, yeah, it looks like looks like Inky wants to push to contact. It's the team in you. I, I can do it. I would too after way. searching for a whole bunch of nothing. Copy that, man. I just want to give you guys some, some concealment at least. Sounds like they're murking Some folks in the power range. Okay. That's uh, my go for. This is hey, Mike four. dropped on their position. We have some enemy construction fortifications at the tunnel entrance. And he calls out fortifications at tunnel entrance. I be careful on skyline. Right, copy that four. <laughs> Um, Inky tells his guys not to skyline as three people are skylining, four people, five people are skylining. Congrats. So Morgan's leading his guys all the way around. Looks like Charlie Foxtrot has been hunting a vehicle. He might have a shot here. Yep, the vehicle's rolling straight down the road towards these guys. They're rolling towards tunnel entrance. The vehicle is passing them. Strikers have split apart here, but we'll see what's happening. They don't have as many men as before. Oh, they just dismounted. Nope. Very good that they dismounted on the other side of that small hill. Charlie Fox doesn't have a shot. Let's see what Killer's thinking here. If Killer doesn't have 360 security, he's going to get an education real soon, I think. Uh-oh. Smoke is coming in, and it's not going to be effective. It's way too concentrated. So that's the second smoke for US. It's going to we'll cover see down squad. here. The GSC guys will see if they have any cover to the south and have set up to the 360. If not, Charlie's squad here might have some kills on their hands. Uh, just assist with the assault. They have one man looking smoke behind them dropping. right now. Smoke is way too concentrated, but it is covering the open area. That's going to let... Lagar is about to get swallowed by these guys in the smoke. If he just stays still, he might survive it. Lagar's going to have a ton of targets to shoot. He's going to have to be very careful. Squad Take 3 is moving twice. behind. Crest, uh, pro, uh, crest of water, the, the ridge line, set up your yeah, AR. US squad Make 3 sure pushing in good, 2 through the smoke. Uh, oh, They're being tailed by Morgan. Straight squad. in? 
This is clearly a distraction play. These guys are uh -oh. up top of the hill. They ain't worried about anything. Man, Hunter goes Stay down. Right there, Lagar. Man. Hey, he's at Baron 190, can see. Lagar's still alive. Lagar got a kill. Lagar got two kills. Nice job, Lagar. Down. Oh, nice job, Lagar. Cat Morgan Squad pushing in behind. Elvito US looking for that shot. Uh, Ran straight up on Lagar with his gun down. Didn't have a chance to react. Womp womp. Zacky dead on the point. That's a lant down for a mill. You guys have actually pushed straight up to this hillside oh, here. The they have a way in. No? You're good? No, no. Yeah, Godfather and Hood are pushing right up close to these guys on Orange, War Daddy, JKR, all those. Cat okay, Morgan still behind. Yeah. Fire team off the point. Still a fire team south with the uh, at the southern uh, area. And there's a lot more people. Wait, hold on. There's a lat hit on the MRAP and it's been hit. On Dudes and in Pickle. Across the field, and shot that. these guys are in contact now. Schmitty got tagged there. Uh, lots of rocks. That was so, Schmitty with the shot, too, right? And Morgan Presumably. runs straight into Billy the Kid looking behind. Lat comes in. Looks like Hanu got killed by the Lat. It's chaos. So many engagements happening. Morgan just Morgan and Budget Saint run up on Taito from the side. And that element has no command comms left. U.S. We just like run it out of numbers smoke. here. It's just Hood and Godfather have been camping slowly, this slowly. Uh, north. They north made it though. They made hill. it. They have to fall back because they have no approach. Mill have covered the top of that hill. Yeah, like only as a medic. Like he's the best. Yeah. yeah. Especially in one life events. Yep. The only uh, the only folks with command comms right now are lawn darts. Uh, oh, I'm dead. I'm hit. Brett actually comes down the hill here and takes a poke. Red has to bandage again. Is Nade in? Grenade. Alpha Squad is down one more man. Dudeson got a kill with that gun up there. Commands on the uh, third ZSU. Commands on the third ZSU? Expit and Silent in. just rolling in there with Tootsie Root. Tootie Root. Bus driver man stand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Utopian call for a full force uh, defense of at least one of the, uh, both of the other guns. That was Silent is going to dig down the radio because I don't think they have an engineer. Blueberries, can you hear us? Too far away. Oh, lawn of the dogs. Does not look good for the AA being right, protected right, over right, here by friendly, us friendly stand and check. Friendly ZSU, friendly ZSU up here. Just getting overrun. Check, might have a shot on Dexpin in the back. That Dexpin native short. Check. They push now, they have a check. chance, but they've been spotted. Uh-oh. Protect. Outnumbered heavily here. At least two to one. <laughs> Silence still the guy's over. They gotta dig it all the way past the stakes because they don't have an engineer. Bus driver man down. Check is hurt. Keep digging. What a grenade. Expert throwing suppression in. The old switcheroo. They come from the north and the south. And uh, Inky just serves to be a. Uh, Wandarts finds check with that shot. Nice. Inky is just a uh, distraction and a great distraction. Alpha. Alpha Squad might come up on some of them from the rear now that they've been hanging out on the rock face and they're rotating back to the AA gun. Let's see. All right, let's see. Mike here. Grab McDab in here. On to Hunt and Chubb still crawling around on a rock trying to find Morgan. Peterson, get in the grass. Get down. Nade misses completely. So now all uh, you guys have to do is exfil. That's two uh, UA, That's two uh, AZs down. Yederson threw a grenade. Oh, yeah, Expit Yederson kills Expit. Oh! Wandarts is down as well. Alpha catches him. Alpha looking for more. He's got a bandage though. McDavid might hear a bandage. Is he going to go after it? Uh man. Can they stop this charge going off? McDavid doesn't hear. He's, he's worried about trying to bipod on a rock. Oh boy, McDavid, this might be your downfall. And McDavid gets shot in the back by Yederson. 
It's an SKS. So where the defense on this other gun is going quite well, Chubbs and uh, Handy Hunt are basically the only ones left. Silent is actually now just hiding because he's hiding as best he can because uh, he knows he's alone. <laughs> Squad four need to roll in here with the vehicle and try to su try to suppress. They're being held back by one person right now, and it's Jack 0800. Yeah, this southern gun push kind of turned tables on them real quick. Frost squad with orange and bong and war daddy over here holding this AA gun pretty strong. I, I don't think they have anything to worry about. So if they can clear out the southern gun, insurgents might actually pull this off. Silent is here, but he's waiting for backup, and he has no command comms, so... He's basically stuck here without any way to communicate. They know he's on the map. That's all they know. Inky has to push across the field here. It's just Jack Wayne Hunter holding them back. Honda Hunt and Chubb still holding up here in the north. Captain Morgan and his fire team not able to chase them down. They've retreated another 20, 30 meters here. They're still looking. Honda Hunt and Chubbs need to try to fall back and regroup. I feel like that's the only chance the U.S. has now is to regroup and push that... Uh radio they almost had here a second ago on that's the what they need to do they're taking their time with it honda hunt has to uh, rearm. take your time man no was and he's hurt chubbs took a shot at orange he actually got a hit oh he got him one bullet into orange here hunt has got a great position if he can hold this war daddy's gonna take a shot Han has to displace Meanwhile, Chubb's yeah, trying to fire on that position as well. We have a considerable insurgent force that's closed in on nope. a southern gun, and uh, Silent's not looking good for you, buddy. The tables have for sure turned on this. Morgan knows exactly where to look, and he's doing that right now. Smoke thrown. Looks like it bounced off the uh, the hill, though. Let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, that smoke is... Uh... Andy Hunt within 10 meters. Can he pick somebody up? No. Oh, no. War Daddy catches him. Puts a bullet into War Daddy, but the trade does not go his way. Mm -mm -mm. And Chubbs, Chubbs is also and Handy down. Hunter down. So right. it's the North completely closed for U.S. Squad Four still holding, and is Dr. Silence Canine. still up? Yes, yeah, Silence still up. <sighs> Silent caught two. Of them. Silent catches a third. Silent hurt, and he but is gone. Fisco. Good shot, Fisco. And a grenade for good measure. But Isaac 9 and Jack 800 here are right by each other and we just, just turn around, lads. Oh, wait, the. Oh, never mind, that's fine. The AA gun got dug up. Silent dug it up. That's why he got discovered. The gun is gone. Oh, does that count? It's gone past the stakes. I don't see stakes for it anymore. It's not on the map. So that technically, counts. this mission accomplished. I would say that counts. Yeah, Xville, Xville, get out of there, boys. Yep. It's only if Inky realizes it, and Inky's dead, so they have... Do they have any mm. command comms? Yeah, I don't know. The U.S. seems pretty let's, limited let's, on let's command comms. So Dusen technically right would have command up. comms here. Mm. How, are, how are you? They don't have enough seats. They're gonna roll out. They're gonna ditch the vehicle. Let's, uh... Is Dudson aware enough to realize that he can just exfil here? Oh, got a full request. Okay. Mill is not giving chase. They do not have the oh. third gun. For four squads, it's two guns required. Oh, should be. Freestalker actually has command of the element. All right. Is he going to pull him out? I think they split up by fired teams, question mark. Well, admin didn't call that that gun is destroyed, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. Nothing on command comms right now. Very little on my side. I'm gonna split it Pretty broken up. I think the insurgent plan here is to just hold out. So I think we are gonna probably see a GG here for our US win with only five US troops remaining. Silent with the clutch uh, dig down all the way to the stakes. The gun near Alpha is gone. Yes, along with the first gun that they've taken out. That is mission accomplished. US just have to exfil but they don't have command comms to know that the second gun has been taken down. So they have to go back to main, but who's in charge of the element? Freestalker is technically in charge of the element. If Freestalker realizes the second gun is gone, they can just walk away. So 
So far, no dice. Free Stalker looks like they're just trying to. Look, I think they're just trying to maneuver to get to the second point. Insurgents are pushing up to that abandoned striker, and yeah. they're going to be a uh, vehicle stealing far behind on. the ex filling surgeon or uh, U.S. forces here. So. Vehicle stealing's on. That's going to be a problem. U.S. Yeah. have no lat. I was about to say they could go chase him down with their own vehicle. So the mission condition has been fulfilled for Mil. Yeah, Mil wait, U.S. must retake Kilo Nine Six. Why? They could text fill. U.S. Mm. mission rule, U.S. specialty rules. Once total need to see issues are destroyed, U.S. may exfil back to Maine. Did we cross wires on some op docs here? I'm going to say yes. Mm. And yep, the vehicle stealing has been realized. Ooh, let's see. I mean, and if they're I was, collecting the MRAP for the point. I mean, if I was Mill, I would just be rolling to find these guys. They can't do anything to them. Yeah, no, no lat support. You can't really get through any of the. Yeah, these guys I mean, went straight arms up the hill. can't get through there, can it? Hey. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but. So, US yeah. just has moved south and they're holding up. Yeah. Oh, they're pulling the MRAP over to the... Yeah, they took the MRAP for point, point defense. Yeah, because the admin announced that... Uh, this is the one they have to take. I got it. Yeah, this is the point that they have to take, but the problem is that... Uh, they don't have to take it. But now they do, because the admin said so. So it's like... Uh, what are you going to do? Casually and gets... Who says what? <laughs> hey, crawl back. I'll, I'll get you. That is brutal. Free Stalker dead. Casually and gets wow, hit again. Wow, there they Cassidy noticed again. them. Two down. Two. Let's just crawl. Uh, I made it shift P. But you have to be registered. If you're not registered, you won't have admin cam. Throws a lad over there. Doesn't oh quite get the shot off. A little overshot. I don't think we're gonna make it out. Only bro. three U.S. soldiers left. <laughs> Scottish. I only think one is left alive. Oh, yep. There you go. That that'll help. Cap still has eyes on him. Mr. Pickle Maybe throwing all the smokes he can. Yeah, I just threw. I just threw two. Mr. Pickle, we've had an adventure this this round. I only got one. All is waiting. Three, two, two. Shots on me. Shots on me. Surgeons yeah. just throwing shells into that smoke over there, see if they can pick anybody off. And Rapture push in. I don't think they realize that U.S. do not have lats. That would be the first thing that would do. Two U.S. soldiers left. Dudes in a Mr. Pickle. These two have been having an adventure this game. It's only three of us, so... Mr. Pickle definitely had an adventure running all the way up to that south point and then running all the way back and then running all the way over here. Do you want to? Squad running simulator at its Five best. Total. And they are moving the MRAP up. Go hunt them down. Alright, boys. Um, you guys have to push up to Kilo uh, 9. Insurgent Command uh, calling for them to push six, up and eight. get on with round so, 2. Let's see if Morgan finds them and we'll uh, roll map. Directly northwest to your position. And I've been telling these guys where to go as a MRAP bears directly <laughs> down on them. Oh, God. You gotta love it at the end of the round. <laughs> wow, Scottish zinged budget sink out of the vehicle. Zoom. Scottish comma gets killed in the op from the open top. That's hilarious, actually. Oh, I didn't even see Scottish comma down here. And but Dutzen is still visible somehow. Two dudes just using yeah, what, everything what? they've got. And this is what I'm tell, tell, saying about the fog adding in the extra la layer of uh, of visibility. Skylining is yeah. much more common on uh, places like this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Dudes and looking for something to shoot here. He's got an AR, so he's got the best chance of hitting something. 
Scottish. All right. <laughs> We're definitely gonna take a break between rounds here. Yep. Mike comes in, dudes in is uh. The rounds are a little short here. Dudes and cut gone. down by Jack of 800. <laughs> that's GG called with that one US G -G. man still alive. All right. One heck of a first round there, Bigar. Absolutely. We got a second round coming up very shortly. So stick with us. All right. And we will be yeah, right... Yeah, please don't go anywhere. Yeah, we'll be right back. We're going to brief from Utopian right now. Very well. Um, this round we are the attacking force. So the plan is simple. Uh, squad 3 on the... Relatively on the left side. Squad 2 in the center. Squad 5 on the right side. While squad 4 will be the flanking element. So 2, 3 and 5 will be a line formation... Platoon line formation pushing north. <laughs> Uh, pushing north and north uh, west basically. Um, I want each squad, two, three, and five, have about 50 to 100 meters apart from each other, relatively speaking. Uh, squad four will be about 100 to 150 meters in the back and be my uh, kind of my QRF, depending on where the enemy is, uh, he will flank around. I uh, want you guys to maintain the position, you know, the formation um, relatively, um, you know, stable. Um, GPS is down, so the map is not working very well. Rule of engagement, I would, I would say just fire at will. Call out your contact and fire at will. Um, any questions? Um, oh, by the way, our main objective is to take out um, the intel says there are multiple AA guns in the area. Um, our main objective is to take at least two out and engineers, you are allowed to use your C4 to detonate the enemy AA guns. I have a question. Go for it, Beef. Are we supposed to hold the second placement after taking it or retreat? Um, that would depend on the high command, but most likely we'll have to hold for this second AA gun and wait for reinforcement. Most likely. Copy that. Any other question? Yeah, I got one. Nagar? How many AIs? Uh, AI. Uh, Anti air. Uh, we need to take it down for the reinforcements to come. Um, as many as we could, but uh, in uh, high headquarters says we only need to take out two, apparently. Okay, thanks. I mean, if we got like three squad left after taking out two A again, I do not mind taking out the third one. Any other question? Remember spacing, listen to your squad leaders, go ahead and let's start prepping for the op. Good luck. And there we go, round two has Why? begun. Take a look at these positions one last time before we start talking about US movement. Log walls. Expensive, but not as expensive. Yeah, that's it. Uh, oh, no, those are part of the uh, tunnel entrance. <laughs> Never mind. And then move around on the flank, or do you want me moving on the flank immediately? I think I think Mill is limited to sandbags and razor wire, so. And sort of yeah, that's a yeah. Little bit. Just take it slow. Normally, fortifications means anything goes, but. Uh, not for this. One. I won't be able to see anything in the fog. Yeah. Oh yeah, the razor wire. Oh yeah. This is definitely, this is definitely good. Razor wire is going to uh, sort of basically make this approach untenable. Kind There's, of funneling, not really funneling, just making it super really. It's pain not, to it's get not, up. it's not funneling. The other positions have no razor no, wire. No, no, you're right. The other positions I'm have no razor saying. wire. 
I mean, it makes sense to deny one entire area. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Minimal, uh, just means minimal, uh, having to observe other directions. Costs not as much as you'd think. I think razor wire is only 25 build per. Yeah, it's not a lot. Sandbags are more. Yeah, sandbags are 50, if I recall. My truck glitched out for a sec. Probably bear asking if this is a mod. North push you. This is a mod. We're playing a modded Gordok layer with all the fog. Some uh, kits have been changed. Most notably, no optics on any kit. FTLs are a specific kit now. And they nice. have smoke markers and binox. Quinn, your marker has me going east if I need to flank. This is our home mod, right? west Yeah, this is our events mod. Just there's more cover if I was coming from that side. Unless you'd rather me go east. Has a bunch of different things for various maps that we play on. Things like civilian actor roles. Uh, specialized infantry. Yeah. Damage values tweaked. Things like that. This is not your vanilla game of squad. No cover. If you guys start taking hits, everybody's gonna Really die. gets you into it. Uh, if you're new around here, I definitely re recommend stopping by an open op. We have another one tonight, right, Peacock? We'll go, yep. this we'll go over the really We'll go fun. over the upcoming events here at the end. The I know we got an event tonight. I think we have Armour tomorrow. <laughs> it's yep, kind of just Armour tomorrow. Armour tomorrow, up on Wednesday. Something on Friday. My driver was we'll go over specifically what those are later on here. Up. But uh, yeah, if you want to know when we go live, uh, hopefully we'll go live a little bit more often with more content. So make sure you follow the channel, turn those notifications on for Twitch, so you know when we go live. Eventually we'll bring some of this over to YouTube as well. We're going to do that in a bit more of a uh, intentionally... Uh, Deliberate manner, though. It makes its way there now, but can always update the system. Um, all squad be advised. All squads be advised. USA. Drops out of radio. Standard command count. No I'm kidding. I'm being, I'm being unnecessarily harsh, but it is kind of funny sometimes. So where the uh. Wait, sorry, wait, what JKR? US pushing up really close here within 300 meters. Decent platoon line. Striker reinforced with MRAP. Kind of serving as a really uh, nice body shield. Oh, kind of serving as a shield for the MRAP. I yep. think so. I'm not too sure. Partok's going to have a field day here in about uh, two seconds. It's definitely got audio in those vehicles. Oh, yeah. Any redeployment from Mill? Looks like a squad is heading from west, northwest to northeast. Shots and we got a fire. kill already. Nightmare. Ow. Nightmare's freaking dead. Alright. He's almost dead. Oh, he's not quite there, but he's hurting. He took two bullets and he's at red life. Remarkable. Frost takes a hit. Copy, yeah. That's nightmare turn, returning fire there. Um, north to south, that's why not going to go out without somebody else. Oh, it's because they put, sand, they put sandbags on top of the rock. <laughs> womp womp. Look at this rock. Why Why would you do this? It's just saying, hey, we're well, here. Get... Our radio's nearby. Guess where the UA... <laughs> Guess where the uh, A gun is. It's close. That's a, it's a, it's a, it's a distraction tactic. Yeah, yeah. I guess. Except for, the fact, <laughs> except for the fact that the A gun is actually close to that position. Support, baby. <laughs> Frost asking for medical support. You, but then I got yelled at. Yeah. Come on, dude, Alpha. It's okay. He'll be okay. Frost took a bullet there at range, so he's pretty Search much healed up immediately. Surgeon yeah, Squad 4 rotating around to 5. Let's see if they can get an eastern flank off on these uh, US forces here. And 
push really decent platoon Ryan, but we can hold this position. I have squads four and five rotate Base down to the US squad. We're looking at it five right now. Copy. JKR moving his vehicle plus his squad up in the west. These guys have the most mobility right now. Contact northwest of us. Niki on the flank, rolling hard with Xbit. So just hold on that. And then one squad per point. Still holding pretty tight here. Most of the northwest guys are holding the railway uh, overpass, or the embankment rather. Right now. Uh, so far, no contact. Northeast guys holding pretty close to the point. Along with southern guys. Northwest side of squad two. U.S. slowly making progress here on the sides. That compound. Hey, gun. Copy. No indication that they see the guys off in the distance. There's no way they probably could. Copy. Yeah, XBit and crew over here really making some good time. Guido, you guys are like 900 meters out. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Utopian and a whole squad of US guys okay, have made you. landfall north of the radio tower. They're over in like Hotel 7. I'd say, uh, accurately on the map, oh. we're about India 7. Super funny because we have uh, two mines over here. <laughs> what are you doing over there, boys? Lat. Fired at range. Looks like an MRAP got tagged. What's up? Larry, eight, five, four. Larry? Squad 5 US has their Larry. eyes trained north right now, but they may be snuck up on by uh, Inky and crew. Right, no, Getting off X, but trying to get eyes. He may have some right now. He's still floating around. I think these guys definitely uh, in a position to do some damage here. Anyone wow, looking behind them? Up a full uh, I, I can hear one right, man is looking for. Command. One man's looking behind them. Yeah, I can see anybody. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't know if Xbit's gonna see him over here. The uphill bunch of three. Reloading, reloading. Built up. Maybe we should just uh, sit here. I believe okay. Bartok put a rocket in this thing. I don't know if he's got any more to, to give, but uh... We gotta wait for these guys to maneuver. I know it sucks, but we have to hold this position for the main side. I'm just gonna keep tap firing while other people down. The middle squad started to make more progress here. Surgeon command calling out for work. He is actually going to go ahead and punch this. He's waiting for the call from Xbit. Really nice position on the field. All the way behind. They roll up on five just right. They might get a full squad wipe on him. But five does have eyes open back there, so we'll see. Oh, they're charging the vehicle up? Inside the bunker. Uh oh. Not inside the bunker, but inside the They're moving to the other hilltop. Yep. Same spot that five was that last round. Got it. Very similar, yes. Insurgent Command has good eyes on it. They're calling the movements. Right up. Meanwhile, Squad 3 is basically right on top of Bartok. I don't think he can. If Bartok shoots, he's going to give away his position oh for sure. Where is Bartok? He's hiding behind a rock right now. He's got his gun out. He's looking for. He's waiting for people to come up on him. Okay, I've got a guy saying that we've got two get squads southeast, hundred meters of us, but we're not seeing any of this. Oh, they, they called it out. They called out. Um, Odelay called out the um, Inky squad. Right. Yeah, Odelay called out. Um, Rolling Inky's right guys. into this insurgent group, though. Oh, they just loaded him up. They loaded all of Squad Five up, and they're now all in that striker, pulling up right behind Bartok. They're gonna unload on top of them. That's unfortunate. Bartok won't have a chance to put those rocket. Put oh, there rocket. they go. And now that flanking squad, Squad Four, is severely out of position to do anything about this. Uh oh. Contact's 
Bartok as well. They basically covered up Bartok and all the smoke from the vehicle makes it really hard to see. Oh, so many casualties for that squad that just got dropped. Buddy. Grenades. I see two, three, four, three and four bandaging, and there's a medic still up. They need to be careful about the crossfire here, too. Nightmare, Metzger, DJ Russ, Godfather, all Frederick towards the north here. Runs past Bartok, and Bartok is just holding fire. He's just watching Frederick clear the position. Okay. Keep moving. Yeah, Morgan Keep is almost going. running these guys over with the striker Hot right here. They're so close. DJ Russ Hood. Frederick calls out West. No one there anymore. Bartok is just sitting here waiting. Metzger gets caught out here. Two bullets in him. Matt needs hanging up behind him. The cap is out of here. Nightmare puts a shot into Boner King. Boner King almost bleeding out. And he's down. Bartok is still holding his hole in the wall. <laughs> Do you want to a whole fire team on top of his position. Northwest is about to get live as well. Mill really holding strong here. Nobody is moving except for that squad in the south. I have the MRAP lighted up. On the hill. Oh, uh, Frederick goes yeah, down. I think Bartok finally let it ride. Oh, squad four. Squad four on the U.S. side pulling off a flank. Pretty similar to squad four on the insurgents, but on the flip side of the map, north side, they rotated all the way around two, and two's probably going to see him coming up through the field, but we'll see Frost. how many they can pick up to get there. Runs in front of Bartok. Scarecrow also runs in front of Bar Bartok. Spoil for choice here. Finally shoots Scarecrow. Paulo's actually still alive. He's yeah. added to his rock too. Looks like Frost is down. Dav is down. Lots of casualties here for US. As uh, <laughs> Millis just decided to not run but hide. Okay. Not going to give up this point so easy. The striker is just sitting on the point right now. Here's what we're going to do. I'm smoking. I'm going to wrap around. There's one guy on the point where the thing is at. What happened to all the Mills lats up there? I think they had two. Fire contact my south right now. We're shifting. Copy. I think Morgan wants to hot drop these guys into the point. Dismount if you can. Dismount. Shots dismount. being fired on the There's squad northwest. Viking and Fizco make There's a couple hot shots on Blue Jericho and Billy. Blue from behind. Here. Takes out Morgan. Takes out War Daddy. Things are popping up all over the map. Billy the Kid's down up All the west. grenades coming through. And... Godfather clears Redibus. Uh, horrible. Horrible results here. We're gonna go up to the north now as Squad 4 US now making progress here. Looks like, uh, got one... Pretty good progress. One EKA for US up here. Engaging across the field into a very similar position. Oh, look, there's an AA gun right in the open. Toaster's got him pinned down with that AA over there, or that uh, auto rifle. Okay. It's a nice little standoff there. Meanwhile, the majority of US forces are down at this time. Plus driver man Stan runs into Bartok, gets axed. Lagar is the only one next to the vehicle. Alive down here in the south. The cheese man JKR making progress northwest side of the objective. As it looks like Mill have pulled yep. off some people. The cheese man is looking around here. Parker is crawling around. If only they realized they could just steal that striker and start using it to move that uh, QRF squad around. The AA gun looks like free real estate. Oh, the cheese man calls the AA gun is clear. And Alpha just real Alpha just realized that everyone is dead. Yeah. Well, 
Uh, we're pushing on to it now. Northwest squad reconvening now. Kind of falling okay. back after that push. Oh, that soul got hit by something. Soul got hit by back blast. Oh no, that was a grenade. That would help or not. We just have to clear and get a C4 on it. Legar threw a grenade up. Uh, yeah. He's rearming off the vehicle. <laughs> Lagar with his mobile uh, armory throwing grenades up the hill kills Polo. Bartok has AT. Is he within medium range? QRF is approaching from the south here. You don't see me, or it looks like. Uh, Banana killer shot out of the turret. They're behind me. Get in, move out. Legar Legar hops in. in. Yeah. And oh, and there goes Bartog with the prime time shot. Two for one. Wow, he actually got the other one to blow up. That's incredible. Well, actually, it's not blown up, but it is shredded. Wheels. No, maybe not. It's actually drivable. But there's no one around to drive it. Yeah, that other so. one is still up. Copy. But he waited for Lagar to get in there. JKR has run away. Looks like Freestalker is dead, so he might have killed Freestalker on the way out. <laughs> it's just JKR. So one squad against three. One squad on three right now. When that's down, I need one guy going for the uh, SP for the uh, emplacement and dig it. Kind of the same story up north with the uh, squad four US one versus three. One and two over on the insurgent sides are kind of rotating over to defend that. Well, the tertiary squad is. Killer holding pretty tight here on the gun. Alpha having to make do with one squad to attack two objectives. Command. Smoke now being added. So where exactly is the gun at your position? Vehicles have been stolen. Yeah, Looks like the MRAP that wasn't destroyed has been taken. They have the striker. They have the striker. <laughs> JKR gets obliterated. <laughs> Run over and then gun down. Chudy Root just shooting because he feels like it, I think. And yep, they're gonna take that they're gonna take that uh MRAP and roll it up. Smoke now coming. Distraction smoke. They're not even going to use it. They're going to push through the forest, I think. Oh, all right. All uh, right. They're pushing into the forest. Yep. Killer J down on the point. Fisco. Handy Hunt's the only one left from that squad medic. defending that AA gun. But lots of reinforcements coming in from the western point. Looks like a fire team coming in to reinforce. Drop, uh, drop Kugel running in. The gun may not be gone. Gun is definitely still there. They're on the battlements now. It's right here. See right if here. liberal and drop yeah. Google over here. Can Toss maybe fluff some of these to give guys up. And dig it down. Handy Hunt just needs to hang out right where he is. Alpha wants the objective. Jack is running for it to dig it down. They even got Mill in the north. Hanu and Taito on the northern hill. Grenade range. Yederson almost gets hit by that. Toaster is just hanging out in the middle of the trees, field. Northeast. Here, Reloading. Silent rolling the unarmed striker in just to see what he can see. Like you do. You might as well. Nothing US can do about it. Jack gets point blank by Honda Hun. Wow, that position worked out for him. He used the smoke to his advantage and just crawled up. He heard all he had to do was echolocate the shovel. Oh my god, Silent, you're just gonna run over Toaster. Or are you just gonna. 
play with your food before you eat it. Yeah, he has no guns on that thing, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> Pretty massive failure coming on here for U.S. Uh, zero objectives and down to less than a squad. Fisco gets shot, but he does get Han to Hun. You're gonna bleed out. And You're Silence gonna bleed just out. toying with them by driving their own vehicle around in front of them. Oh, Silent is 100% giving GPS precise coordinates for everyone he sees. The next step is to obviously just dump <laughs> troops directly on the position. Everyone go here. Drop Kugel, if he had a grenade, two guys dead. Yep, Drop Kugel is gonna see Fisco digging, missing Line. a bunch of shots. Everyone missing, except for Uterson puts a couple in the drop. Fluffs! Uterson, get him! playing Call of Duty over here. Uterson to tell him to keep digging. We got you, we got Fisco. <laughs> invincible. Rockets Fearless now coming here. in. As Inky, the QRF squad, comes up from behind. One objective is down. Right. Alpha, now everyone's gonna hide. It's just Utopian, Alpha, Uterson, and Fisco, I think. Is anyone else still up? No, I think this is it. Uh, nope, that's it. This is the last U.S. Four ride. U.S. remain, and they're gonna—they're just gonna. Fisco gets in the vehicle. Oh, I'm behind. Uterson finally down. Yeah. McDavin caught him. Jeez. Alpha's gonna steal the transport truck. Oh, good. oh their yeah. wheels are fucking hit. All right. We're just gonna roll okay. to this Alpha and Fisco yeah, are just out of here. Done. Utopian is still here? Utopian's crawling in the field. Oh my god. Yeah, Utopian is still up over here. Alpha gets shot out because he drives straight towards a fire team. Fisco, what can oh. he do? He gets one. There goes Fisco. Not Utopian gonna survive. is last man. <laughs> Alright, Utopian. Show us how it's done. 1v30, let's go. I see liberal here. Uh, lips prone. I don't know, my ear objective is up. complete. How ballsy would it be if he just ran away from here? <laughs> just he ran would south. win, technically. He's, only, yeah. he's he got a 1v1 to take the last AA gun. If he Do runs it. south, but there's no well, way. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna him. bump heads. Lib does Lib oh hear it? Lib hears it. Lib hears it. Does he see him? He's got a Look knife. <laughs> Utopian's got a knife. They're walking right into each other! <laughs> <laughs> Utopian thought he was going to be smart there and get a knife kill. Lib was having none of that. Oh, and Liberal comes out with the last kill. GG. What a fun match today, B Car. Wow. Absolutely. That was insane in the membrane. <laughs>